Hey guys, Elena here, and I'm super excited to talk about this today because I hear this all the time, like it's too hard to lose weight, I can't do it, it's impossible, right? The excuses go on and on and on, and I feel like I've been there too, like I understand completely what you're feeling, but I want to share something with you. It is hard. Like, if anybody ever asked me, hey, Lena, like, is it hard to be on this journey? Is it hard to lose weight? Is it hard to build muscle? Yes. Like, 100%. Yes, it is. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it for you because it is hard. It's a hard journey, right? But here's where mindset is a huge thing in this and every really aspect of your life, to be completely honest. Because if you think about it this way, yes, it's hard to work out, right? It's hard to maybe get your butt off the couch and go on a walk. It's hard to eat what you know you should be eating. It's hard to eat or drink what you should be drinking and not what you're not supposed to be. But it's so hard on the other side of the spectrum too. I have been there. I have been 150 pounds. I've been 210 pounds. I've been a size six. I've been a size 18. Okay. Like I have been all over the place in this journey. And I will say a hundred percent, it was so much harder being overweight. It was so much harder when I looked in the mirror and I hated what I saw. It was so much harder when I would put on an outfit that fit me but maybe a month ago and I couldn't even button my pants and my love handles and you know the spare tire was just hanging over everywhere. That is hard too, right? So we're so caught up in this mindset, like it's so hard to do the right things, but are you really even thinking about where you're at right now? Like, are you comfortable? Because there's been times that at the weight I was, I was not comfortable. I could barely like walk around the block without like huffing and puffing and struggling. There was times where I worked out and I couldn't even get through the workout. That's hard, right? There's times when your self-confidence is so low that it starts affecting other things in your life that's hard, right? And so really, you guys, take a moment and look at your life. Like, look at the things. If you're unhappy with your body, if you're unhappy with your weight, if you are overweight, really take a moment and think about all the things in your life that are hard. Like, I've helped people who can't tie their shoes because of their weight. That's hard. You know what I mean? There's so many other things in your life that your weight is affecting that is making your life hard. And everybody gets so stuck on it's hard to lose weight, but it's hard to be where you're at too, right? Because... I know for me personally, when I was overweight, like I had really big um, side rolls, like love handles and a roll right here, and it hurt to sleep, guys. Like I would be so uncomfortable sleeping. Like I would just feel like it was like poking in on me. Like it was really upsetting to me. That was hard for me. And yeah, like it's a hard journey to lose that weight, but the reward at the end is so great because all those hardships that you're feeling right now being overweight being unhappy with your body those are gonna go away and you're gonna feel amazing so you have two choices you could get so stuck in your you know it's too hard to lose weight and you're never going to achieve that end goal of feeling amazing of being healthier or you could choose, okay, yeah, this is hard. It's hard to get my butt off the couch. It's hard to eat good. It's hard to stay motivated, but I'm going to do it because once you stick with that hard, once you chase that one, the rewards are going to pay off tenfold. And you might be thinking, okay, Lena, that sounds great. Yeah, it's easy to say, you know, just choose that hard, but like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's simple, guys. Get your bodies moving. Incorporate something that could be a lifestyle as far as eating goes. So if that's keto, eat keto. If that's intermittent fasting and then, you know, keto-ish on your windows, do that. If it's clean eating out of containers, do that. Whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel the best, whatever is easiest for you to stick with. And even working out, I'm not telling you you have to go work out an hour a day, but even getting up and walking 30 minutes a day will completely change your body and your life. You can start making little tiny changes daily that are going to add up to a huge result, right? And it's going to be amazing. And you're going to feel so much better. And you're going to be so, 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 thankful that you chose to push through the hard and you you know and I think like sometimes we get like okay well I'm so busy been there I'm gonna try to like get on all these excuses today 
I have worked three jobs when I had only two kids. I was a single mom and I still made time for myself because it's important. So if you are thinking you're too busy to do this, really, really take a moment to reevaluate your life and put yourself first, which is so hard if you're a mom or a mother or a, or a mom or a mother, if you're a mom or a wife or just a woman in general, like we tend to not do this, but you are worth it. You are capable. You deserve it to put yourself first. And it's only 30 minutes, right? You can make yourself time for 30 minutes, even if that means waking up 30 minutes early, even if that means going to sleep 30 minutes after your kids do, you could do it and the reward is going to be worth it. Think about the people who go and do like bikini competitions, right? Or people that maybe you follow on Instagram or Facebook and they are in great shape and you're like super envious, right? I know we all have people like that. I do too. And you think about it, they're busy. They have lives. They like have other things going on too, but they still dedicate that time because it's worth it to them, right? Because that hard, that reward at the end, they know it's going to pay off. So they make themselves a priority. They have goals. They have vision. I've done a video on goals, guys. Set your goals, set your vision and realize that you could do it. It's totally doable, but don't tell yourself, you know, it's going to be easy because it is going to be hard. Set yourself up for realistic expectations. There's going to be days that you don't want to work out. There's going to be days that maybe you don't want to drink your ketones. There's going to be days that you want to eat 12 donuts and a hamburger with a bun and fries and all that good stuff. And you know what? It's not horrible to do it every once in a while, guys. It's a lifestyle. And you're going to realize that like after you start doing this and you're doing it consistently with time, it's going to get so much easier and you're going to enjoy it. I will say like I'm at the point now in my life after being on a health and fitness journey for I don't know, six years, <laughs> I will say that I finally, finally now like have made it to where like this is my life. Like, I am completely okay with it. I have routines. I have rituals that I do daily, and they make me feel amazing. And, yeah, there's been times that I've completely fallen off, mm -hmm. which sucks. And, yes, it's hard every single time you jump back in. You have to switch your mindset. You have to reset your goals. You have to, you know, be uncomfortable, but it's always worth it. So find something that works for you. Find something that makes you happy. Find something that you enjoy. Maybe you enjoy CrossFit. Maybe you enjoy yoga. Maybe you enjoy the treadmill, like whatever it is, right? Take it and run with it. Create a ritual, create a routine and realize that you are so worth it. Like I really wanted to come in here and let you guys know, like I believe in you. I know you're worth it. I know you are capable. Don't let it be hard. Be Don't let the fact that it is hard <laughs> prevent you from reaching your goals. You are going to feel so much better. You're going to be so much happier. You're going to be so much healthier. And think about this. Like if you have kids or grandkids or a husband, don't you want to be the happiest, healthiest, healthiest version of yourself? Yes, right? Set that example for your kids. Set a, that example for your family. Show everybody in your circle that they could do this. Like, we don't want to be showing the people around us, including our kids, even for me personally. Like, I want to show them that health is important. I want to show them that physical activity is important, that it's important, you know, to reach your goals and to do everything that you can to do it. I want to set that example. And it starts with me, so I need to do it, and it goes down to the rest of my family, and it's an amazing feeling. Like, so, really, guys, I just want you to know, like, I believe in you. You could do it. It's hard, but it's worth it. So choose your hard. That's what I'm going to end with today. Choose which hard you want. Do you want to have that hard life where maybe you're going to start dealing with complications on your health because of your weight? Do you want to deal with the hard where you're struggling to, you know, get like off the couch? Do you want to deal with the hard where none of your clothes fit or when you look in the mirror and you hate what you see? I have been there, guys. It's not a good place to be. And it's so much harder realistically guys it's so much harder than actually doing little things every day to get to where you're healthier and happier and living your best life so stop with those excuses stop complaining that it's hard and go out and make 
happen, okay? Because you are capable, and when you do, you're going to realize that that was the best decision that you've ever made. And you're going to feel so proud of yourself, and I am always proud of you. If you get off the track, jump back on, guys. There is no shame. You could always jump right back in, make it happen. Don't beat yourself up. As long as you're trying every day, that's what counts, and that's what's going to pay off in the long run for you. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.